Now we'll be talking about the drug salbutamol. Now almost salbutamol is used universally. Salbutamol or leosalbutamol is very famously is seen with astaline or in duolin also. Duolin has two drugs which is leosalbutamol and ephratropium. Now leosalbutamol or salbutamol this is basically beta 2 agonist and the selectivity it is highly selective. These beta 2 receptors are actually seen on bronchi and the main thing of this beta 2 receptor is bronchodilation. So uh, basically these salbutamol or leosalbutamol they don't reduce inflammation like steroids. They simply cause a bronchodilatation. Uh, this is available in tablet form but in tablet form it is very uncommonly used it is available in inhaler form and the same by the same drug nebulizing form is also available it is extensively used in all icus wards as well uh, very commonly those patients who are presenting with pneumonia those patients presenting with uh, lrti those, those patients who have uh, uh, v's ronchi uh, those patients who have hypoxemia because of the presence of bronchospasm like these and bronchi, their salbutamol is extensively used. Now, the property of this uh, salbutamol, they cause bronchodilation within 5 minutes when they are given in nebulization form. And the effect of this salbutamol or leosalbutamol lasts for only 2 to 4 hours. That is the reason why leosalbutamol is very commonly given at least 4 times a day in nebulization form. Or for those patients who have asthma, it is very commonly told to take whenever the patient feels this wheeze or ronchi. And the patient may need to take this inhaler multiple times a day because it its effect very last for only for around four hours that is the reason why it is always given like every fifth to sixth hourly if the patient has the shortness of breath if the patient has wheezing or wrong eye suggest of bronchoconstriction now it's very commonly used to terminate the attack of asthma in the, those patients who have asthma attacks are very commonly they get V's or wrong eye they get shortness of breath whenever there is change in the weather when the, whenever there is cold weather then very commonly it is given to terminate attack of asthma because it causes bronchodilatation uh, it has very disturbing side effects like palpitation is one of the very 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 common side effect of this medicine so very commonly patients may feel tachycardia patient may very commonly feel palpitation or a racing of heartbeat which can make the patient uncomfortable the other side effects can be restlessness irritability nervousness tachycardia shakiness tremulousness this can be the uh, side effects which can be very commonly associated with this salbutamol uh, one of the use of this drug is in hyperkalemia if the patient has hyperkalemia then the always the first drug is always uh, glucose drip the other things which can be given is calcium gluconate to stabilize the myocardium and to reduce the serum potassium level uh, salbutamol nebulization can be used but patient should not have tachycardia because if the patient already has tachycardia then salbutamol can again increase the tachycardia and can increase the risk of arrhythmia so if the patient's heart is heart rate is preferably less than 100 salbutamol can be considered for hyperkalemia it is extensively used most of the time for those patients who have asthma those patients who have COPD in hospitalized setting in ICU in wards those patients who have asthma exacerbation those patients who have COPD celebrations those patients who have low respiratory tract infections those patients who have pneumonia those patients have wheeze ronchi they very commonly are put on leosalbutamol or salbutamol that can be uh, separately or that can be associated with ipratropium, triapotropium, steroids, inhalational steroid or nebulizational steroid or with other drugs. So it is one of the excellent drugs for acute bronchospasm and it can be used for hyperkalemia when the patient has no tachycardia. Thank you.